Hello, uh, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you uh, how to use Groupbox uh, in WPF. Actually, Groupbox is a container of the single item. Uh, so uh, you notice that uh, Groupbox is already available in Windows form. Uh, that's mean of uh, we can separate. If you want to separate your uh, group items uh, with other group items then you can use the group uh, box uh, similarly in WPF we have a group box to uh, differentiate between the two groups so we can use the group box so in the group box we can add a single item or you can say the single container that is stack panel so add a group box and add a stack panel in it in which we can add two radio buttons uh, the first radio button is referred to the male and the second radio button is referred to the female okay now I will show you how to uh, select uh, radio button which is inside then the group box so if uh, you have two uh, entity like uh, married and unmarried and the male and the female so you can use the two group box for uh, the two entities okay so here we have a group box in the stack uh, with the stack panel okay now I will also create the group box in a code behind file so uh, let's check it uh, my simple demonstration the group box radio button content male and other radio button with her content is female that is in the group box okay that's fine the group box with the header text is gender nice now start it and check the output of the group box yeah that's fine here we have a uh, add of the grid data grid you can see that now comment it and also comment it that is previously uh, video tutorials called check it again uh, to start again to click on the start button Uh, it's take some. Um, it's take few minutes uh, to run the application. Yeah. In the output window, you can check uh, your project is executed in the debug folder WPF uh, application one dot exe file. Okay. Now your window is here. That's fine. Now select any one radio button from the control okay that's mean of the single group box items male and female okay now if you want to design this group box at using code behind file then simply add the group box just after the initializing component because you want to show your group box and radio buttons just after initializing the component so create a method that is group box is example and create a group box class z1 equals to new group box class in which we can add a stack panel so create a stack panel also stack panel sp equals to new stack panel st 
contact panel yeah that's fine now assign the group box to header property uh, header is agenda I want to add um, stack panel in the uh, group box so first of all sp one dot childrens dot add and what the radio button so make instance uh, or you can say object of the radio button with the single property that is content equals to mail so sweet Similarly for the female, yeah that's fine. Now both of these are added in the stack panel and last one is add the stack panel in the group box. So z1 dot content is stack panel and I want to add the group box in the grid. So the grid dot grid one dot children's dot add z1 that actually the process of the XAML and doing by the C sharp that's fine so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to WPF. Thank you, thank you very much.